Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about the random number library in C++11, which is made up of two parts, the random number engine and distribution. First, let's look at the random engine. A random engine is a stateful generator that generates random values within predefined min and max. So first of all, it has internal state. And secondly, the value it generates is within a predefined min and max, which means you cannot change the range of the values that it generates. I must note that the values generated by random engine are not truly random, they are pseudo-random. Actually, nothing that computer generates are truly random. They appear to be random, but they are really not random. Let's look at some example. First, I create a random engine. Default random engine. Let's take a look what are the min and max that this engine can generate. Min engine dot min. This will return the min value that the engine generates and then create a max and max. Let's run the program. So the range of the data that this engine will generate is from 0 to this number. Now let's see how to generate a random value. It's easy, just call engine. So the engine is actually a functor. This will generate one random value, and let's generate another one. So let's run the program again. It generates two random values. And the engine has an internal state which determines what kind of uh, random value it will generate. Let's define a string stream call it a state and the state engine. This will save the current state into the variable state. Now let's generate two random value again and then state engine. This will restore the state. So it will restore the engine's state to the state that is saved in this variable state. And then generate two random variable again and run the program. As you see, these two values are exactly the same as these two values. So if the engine is in the same state, it always generates the same values. To save some typing, let me define a function. It's called print random, which takes a default random engine as a parameter and prints out 10 random values. And let's delete all these things. Now I have a default random engine, let's call it E. Then I create a second random engine, let's call it E2. Then I print random E and then print random E2 and run the program. As you see, both engines print out 10 same values because both engines, when they were created, they were in the same states, the initial states. But oftentimes, this is not what you want. You don't want your random engine to generate the same sequence of values every single time. You want them to be as random as possible. This is why we need a seed. So, I'll create a third engine, E3. 
but this random engine E3 is created with a seed. And the seed is an unsigned integer, which is taken from the steady clock, now, time since epoch, count. If you don't know what this is, you are recommended to watch my another two videos about the chrono library. Basically, it will return a unique number to identify the current time. So, as long as the program is running at a different time, which is almost always the case, we'll get a different seed. And as a result, this random engine E3 will always generate a different sequence of numbers. So if we run the program, as you see, E and E2 generate the same sequence of numbers, and E3 generates a different sequence of numbers. So seed is a number that determines the internal state of an engine. So if I set an engine to a different seed, it will have different state. Say if I do E dot seed, this will reset engine to initial state. And E dot seed 109, this will set engine E to a state according to seed 109. If I set E2 also seed 109, and then I can check if E equal to E2. If they are equal, it means E and E2 have the same state. So the double equal sign is overloaded to check if two engines have the same state. A random engine can also be used to shuffle a vector or a deck. For example, if I have a vector d which contains the number from 1 to 9, I can call the function shuffle with d.begin, d.end, and a instance of default random engine. The standard library provides 16 random engines for you to use. And this is a table of them from C++.com. What we have used is this one, the default random engine. The default random engine is an engine with reasonably good quality, performance, and size for casual usage. If you have any special needs, you can always come here and pick an engine that meets your needs. That's all for today. Feel free to check out the other videos I have, and see you next time.